Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the towable backhoe from Harbor Freight. Uh, something I've always wanted, as I've always wanted a thumb to go on here. And this actually, you see it's half inch steel, it's big. It actually goes right here, stays in place. So I can use the bucket in order to pick up rocks or trees or stumps, but really to grab things, grab anything really. Uh, so how this works, it sits up here, just like this when it's not being used, and then I can position it in different positions to go down and up when I want to use it. And it has, it's a three part system, so it has another couple adjustable arms, you'll see it throughout the video. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how I install it. But you can see this is uh, this is no joke. This is really thick steel. It's good stuff. This is what you want when you're picking up big rocks and stumps and everything else like that. So stick around. Let's get into it. Just want to make sure that everything is even on both sides, you have a center. I'm going to set this with a C clamp, tighten it up and then make sure that the actual clamp itself or the thumb is going to be able to fit and it's going to fold up neatly and not get bound up anywhere here. So right now just centering it. Alright guys, so I just got through welding. Um, I, I forgot to mention that the welder that I use, this is the Omni, Omni Pro 220, it's a multi-process welder and I've been using it for I guess well over two years now and I've used it everything from rebuilding trucks, rebuilding frames on trucks, to houses, supports. Obviously now I'm using it on the tractor. Uh, it's never let me down, it does stick, MIG and TIG and I can't say enough about it. So. Uh, but it works off of 120 and 220, you know, to go with the Harbor Freight trencher, the Harbor Freight welder really does work well. So let's take a look at the welds real quick. All right, so taking a look at this, um, you can see some holes in here, some holes. That's because both of these steels, they're bent. So I did have to fill a pretty good quarter inch gap that's in there. So I had to take my time. Um, here, there's no gaps, no gaps, there's no gaps but I had a gap here where I went just a little too fast um, and it fell through so I had to go back and fill the pocket. Um, same thing here, I got a little bit of cracking. Other than that, they're really smooth. These are about half inch welds, so half inch wide to three quarter in some places. Um, here I was getting just a, a, a little warm and I kind of burnt my finger a little bit so <laughs> I can't really, uh, no excuse for some of the inconsistencies in the weld. But anyways, um, I did get good penetration, and this is four large welds. These are about two inches a piece. This, is, this isn't going anywhere. I don't need to weld this entire thing. 
this isn't, uh, there's not going to be an issue. Everybody, I just want to show you how to store it. Um, on the top here, you're going to have two sleeves. On the bottom, you're going to have a single sleeve. The U channel needs to face this way, and that's so you can articulate it good. But this is really important. So what you want to do is you want to take the bottom out. You want to take the top out. Notice how there's two holes here, one and two. You want to take that bottom hole and put it in the top. Alright, see how it goes in there really nicely? Now, it's not going to go anywhere at the bottom, because it can't. You can fold this, it's going to stop there. You can store this guy, which was meant for down here, up here. Just like that. But then you actually need to tie this. So get something to tie it. Alright everybody, so that's it. This is just a quick installation to show you how to uh, just tack this on really, weld it on, and uh, set up the uh, thumb so that the jaws are facing forward, you can grab things. I'm not going to do any type of uh, examples right now. I've got some other things to do today, but look out look out in the future, I will do some of these. So there are some good adjustments here. This didn't take me long, maybe an hour, to get everything done. Um, I have enamel sprayed back on here. So, all right everybody, so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe as well. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.